that's everything. Welcome, hi. Please present in a way that is supportive of your contentment, your peace of mind, for a brief meditation. So I find that not making too much effort here to keep it simple, but to take care of anything that's distracting. Settle is a nice word for this prior practice. Invite your breath to slow, to move through your nose, which is descent. Sealing the lips slightly with a relaxed jaw. Allow eyes to soften downward and center. Or perhaps between the eyebrows, internal gazing. The gaze of your awareness, observe your body. Welcome it in this moment. Be still so that you can notice the sensations of breathing and of energy. For a breath or two, notice where you feel the direction of energy is going. One more time, breathing deeply and slowly in through your nose as you're ready. Draw the breath in. Feel that sense of rising energy with the inhale. And then the down and center energy of exhale. Down into the belly center. Press down into the earth with your legs. Reach up your arms. Stretch out your hands and your fingers for a moment. Breathe. Reach out. Brings a little energy. One more time. Inhale. Exhale into the heart center with your hands. Inhale for the only. Um, but it's the settling of the mind into silence. Glimpses of that. Please come to the back of your body. Yeah. Which pose in three ways today. You can lie back with your legs straight or just bring yourself to the ground in a mindful way that brings your head down last, finding that center back of your skull. It's important to find the alignment here, so give yourself a moment to center your spine, settle your shoulder blades, feel that space of your neck, of your low back, the arches of your feet. Exhale, belly center ground. On this first one, coming up, focus on the upper body, grounding the upper back, keeping your head centered, using your arms. Two, three, four, one more breath. Exhale, slowly bring your spine down to the ground, where it touches the brain spine, down to the hips come down. And looking at lengthening the front of the thighs on the second one, keeping that nice upper body alignment, wide feet close to the body, round the arms, breathe out, breathe in, slowly lift up. See the front of the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Focus on lengthening your thighs, stretching your quadriceps. Uh, 
five breaths long enough to get some work done to notice, but it's not forever coming on down. Release. Moment to resettle if needed, this time focusing on the pressing of the feet. So it's bringing those three things together, rounded upper back, thigh stretch, hip strength by foot pressing, two, Three, maybe your arms come up towards the ceiling, hands turn and face each other. Three, four, strong, one more time. Arms come down, spine comes down, controlling the movement. Part of what this practice teaches us all the way down. Ease to chest one at a time, invite them in, catch shins with your hands, rock side to side, go back low. Come to center. Be still for a moment. And then bring up your arms and your legs. And do a little free movement, ankles, wrists, wrists. Knees back into your chest, please, and rocking up or going to one side if that feels more secure for your body. Make compassionate choices, so momentum. Tuck your chin, catch your shin, rock, and continue around to your hands and knees. Spreading open your hands, finding your tabletop. Hands can be ahead of your shoulders to make your wrists comfortable. Your next fingers forward-ish. Look at your hands, feel them, make a clear connection. Press the hands so the shoulders feel active. Draw your navel lightly towards your spine. Check in with the back of your body here, the, the lower half, the knees, the feet. Okay. Treat it like a plank pose. One. Tummy toned. Spine long. Strong chest and back, three, four, and five. Right arm, left leg, bird dog, two, three, four. Use a steady gazing point, and five. Spread your hand, bring down your knee, other side. Last one in this set for one. Two, not forcing, not holding back. Find your middle path. Nice long neck. If you look up to see what's happening, make sure you bring your face back downward. One more time, lengthen, reach. Exhale, hand, knee, balasana. Change your knees if you want to. Go on back. Drape your arms beside you. Bring your forehead towards your knees. Hips can be high or low. Find it in your body. Exhale once again. Coming forward into calf spine. Rise up. Gently extend your face and your heart forward. Cat spine, curl your tail and your chin down towards your chest. Extend with a strong center. Flex. One more time each way. Give some time for those bones of the spine to move through their range of motion and release. Bear pose, reset your hands if you need to, then tuck toes, lift your knees, two inches off the ground, one, two, calmly, three, four, bringing challenges with grace, and five. Straighten your legs, downward facing dog, 
Notice what you do as you come into this pose. What are your little things? What do you refine? What do you notice? Wiggle and find your way in. Then bring your head down. Draw your belly up. Press your legs back. Feel the calm energy of being upside down a bit. One more time. Maybe reach your heels down a little bit on that last one. Bend your knees deeply, look between your hands. Straighten your legs, step forward towards your hands. Come to half lift pose. Breathing in, breathing out, standing hold. Gently explore the range of motion. Standing up starts with your feet. Feel that process of standing with awareness. Bring up your arms, breathing in, breathing out. Bring your arms down by your sides. Arriving in mountain. I had to put up my hair in a while, but I think it's going to be better if I do. So a moment for clothing refinements. Hair, mountain. Arrive, mindful standing, easy, open-hearted. You can ground and center yourself anytime. Breathing in, move up your arms, lift your rib cage and your gaze. Breathing out, sweep the arms down, slowly control to the touch where they touch, head down towards the legs. Halfway lift, move your hands if you want to. Bend your knees, spread hands, go back. Simple words for this process. Go back, plank pose. Knees could be down or lifted. Two. Concentration is has its whole a whole limb in the eight limbs of yoga. Bring your knees down and untuck your toes. Some yoga push-ups, the elbows kind of hug inward, the hands and shoulders spin outward, dip and release. See how it feels. Doesn't need to be big, four. Feet can be up or down, and five. Go back, tuck toes, puppy. Long spine like down dog. Broad chest, broad back. Mindful toe stretch. One more time, breathe out. Upward facing dog or cow spine. So from your knees, straighten your arms, lift your rib cage, ease your belly forward, gaze down. Downward facing dog, take your time, move through your knees. One. Last breath. Another way of coming forward is with the pike, with the hips high. Come on the balls of the feet as far forward as you can. Uplift in the belly. And then bring your heels down. Knees can bend. Breathe out. Fold in. Breathe in. Stand. Each. And release. From gratitude. Again, wide arms this time. Reach up. Reach down. Go back, switch it up, bring different leg back first if you can remember. And then pa um bossy stuff in a side plank. There it is. Right side. You can bring down your knee. Just five breaths. One more. 
over to the other side, spread your hand. It can be ahead of your shoulder or right under it. Wide belt around the waist. Press your hand. Keeping the center awake and then turn. Knees come down, upward facing dog. Take your time. Downward facing dog for five. Four. And one. Come forward with your choice. They like to breathe well. Up to standing. Mindful. Move with breath and release your arms coming down. Pause and feel your energy for a moment. Crossing over your right foot in front of your left. Starting with the side bend, bring up your arms, catching the right wrist with your left hand. Shoulders down. Come into a side bend over towards your left side. Just gently traction the right side of your body. Notice your lower back in a shape like this. You might need a little low back awareness, a little tail tuck possibly. With an inhale, bring your arms up and exhale, bring them down. Stay with the legs. We're forward fold, mindful of the IT bands, these strong connective tissue bands on the sides of your legs. Come to a forward fold, take plenty of time. You may bend your knees. For one example here, it's just stop part way. Put my hands gently on my legs. Perhaps you'd like to come to a block or even to a piece of furniture. And let's count about five breaths here, not causing any harm. It's one of the important lessons of yoga. It starts with our own bodies. Notice your toes and your brain's probably going, wait, what? Five. Mindful coming out. You may uncross up either way. Come from behind or in front. Let's do a couple of hip circles just to move that part of the body. Both directions. The other side, starting with the feet close, cross over, spread balance, arms up, side bend. Gently find your range of motion. Even there. Exhale again, even the lower back. And that whole side of your body. So coming up, aware of your low back, some slowness. Arms down, forward fold, taking your time. So you tilt from the hips, forward tilt in the pelvis. And then decide how far you'd like to go. If you'd like to bend your knees or adjust your feet to accommodate this idea. Thoughts on the knees today, strengthening the knees. Stretching around the knees and muscles that affect them. What more? Coming up with slowness. Take your time when crossing. To the circles with wide feet. Let that be. Concentration on 
feet parallel, stepping back to high lunge with your right foot. Bend your front knee. Over your ankle, find your balance. Bring your arms up to begin. One, using the root of your front big toe. Where did softness come in? Are your shoulders down? Five. Bring your arms forward here to challenge the strength of your thigh. Lean forward a little bit. Three, four, five. Warrior B. Bring your hands together and your back heel down to the ground. Turn to the side, reach your arm front and back. Try not to mess with it too much. And then add a head turn. Back to the high lunge. Maybe finding your pelvis to do that pivot of the pelvis forward. Knee over ankle. Arms up, arms forward. One, two, three, four. Other side. Step forward. Mountain, step back. Concentrate with your eyes, brain, feel your way and move your body. Knee over ankle. Going back and forth on the ball of your back foot to find that length in the front of your hip where the back leg is straight. Bring up your arms. Notice how this side feels. Bring your arms forward. A little bit of a forward lean. Foundation stays the same. Bring your hands into your heart. Turn your back toes to the side. Warrior B. That side facing lunge. Shoulders down. Head turn. Meet it where it is from this stance. It's a little short. It's okay. Return to your high lunge, so the pelvis needs to turn back towards the front. Bringing into that shape again, arms up, arms forward, one, two, three, four, five. How do you come out of this? So, the physics. Head forward, real press into that foot, and release back to mountain. Ukatasana, fierce pose, strengthening the hips, coming into your squat, your yoga squat with a long spine. Hips reach down, hips reach back, knees reach back. One more. Focusing on that lower body strength. Exhale, low. Press feet, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Fold over the crease of your hips and catch your elbows. Come on down with your spine. You can rock a little bit forward and back in your feet. And Distribute your weight into your feet. One more time. Back to standing. You can bring your hands back to your pelvis, bend your knees into Utkatasana, and use that to stand up with strong legs. Where your seat? This is the one where we stay facing forward and lift the back leg. Let's try it today with a bent front leg. So, 
Bring that leg back first. Bending the front leg a bit as you lift your back leg off the ground. So you play with that idea. Lift the back leg as much as you like, but try to keep your front leg bent today. Little bend. Five, three more breaths. So if you've come out or something, you have time to find about at least five total of exploring that idea. Eight, see about controlling the release. Pause and feel. State of concentration, the other side. Perhaps coming in with the leg straight and then bending it. So offsetting the leg lift with the forward bow. Arms can reach out or wherever they help balance. And then add a little bit of a bend. Two. Three. Open-hearted attitude. Do your best. Potentially keeping that front knee a little bent. One more time. Bring it back. Slowness is so, there's so much power in that coming out with control and coming in with control of the piece. One more, warrior A. Right leg back, big step. Stay facing forward as you bend your knee. You don't have to force your pelvis to stay forward. It's more of a rib cage forward. Interlace, thumbs wide, catch your Front rib cage. Building from the ground up for motion. Other side. Lead the other way. Unshakable courage. One more time. From here, release and turn to wide feet facing the left side of your mat. Bring it to goddess with the toes turning out. Challenge your balance a little bit. Please do not fall. Bend your knees towards your toes. Come right down the center line. The knees do not collapse inward here. Notice them tracking. Cross spine. Keep the legs, hands on the thighs. Bring the right shoulder towards the center of your mat and downward. Creating a twist. Keep the legs the same. One more time. Keep the legs, release your shoulder, center, other side, bring the shoulder towards the center of your front, and then downward, customizing, two, one more time, stay steady in the legs, long hold, back to center, let the legs release this time, Heels swinging out, prasavita, adhatanasana, wide spreading foot pose. Come on down into a forward fold here. Your choice of arm positions. You may bend your knees. I'll give you one if you want a direction. <laughs> Hooking the big toes, or you're holding your ankles, elbows wide, head down, shoulders up, belly up. Again, where's your weight in your feet? Try not to hang all the way forward or back, but distribute. Inhale once more, come slightly up, but you're gonna come out of the pose. Exhale, fold, bring your head towards the floor. Come all the way up. Exhaling at the top and finishing standing practice with the 
extended triangle pose. To the front of your mat, pivot on your heel. Your back foot may change the angle as you like as you stretch out your arms. Breathing in and over and down. So, so mindful. So we're folding into that front hip crease here. The top pelvis can come towards the floor, that's fine. Round your bottom hand. Spin your heart and your face a little bit upward, reaching up and down. Keeping tone in your tummy to protect your back. This teaches your body to be strong in the center. Once more, breathe out, belly strong. Breathe in, coming up, changing sides. Fold into the crease. Mindful of your pelvis, doesn't need to stay stacked. Lengthening out to the side. So belly center pose. One more time, just the effort needed. Exhale, strong, navel towards the spine gently. Inhale, coming up, and release back to the front section of your neck. Reach up, breathe in. Joyful reach, breathe in again. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees so that you can bring your right knee back to the floor into low lunge. Rising up, have a moment if you need to place the cushion under your knee. Then settle your shoulders. Know yourself. Where do you tend to overwork? Where do you tend to be lazy in your body? It's all fine. Just be aware. And of course, low lunge. One more time. Changing sides. So this is a bit of a project. Balancing this moment of release where you're just on one leg. You can use your hands. Come to the other side. Bring it all together. Alignment. Breath. Yoga is allowing space between the thoughts. So you're breathing and concentrating on holding the shape in your body. You're aware. And then release. Bring that leg back. Make your way down to your belly. You want to walk your knees back and lower through the chaturanga. That's one way of building the strength in your push up is to just go down all the way. Take a moment to rock your pelvis side to side. Give your low back space, widen your legs and feet. And come into an easy crocodile where your arms are folded comfortably. Do a little bit of a back bend. Turn the ground the energy. Slow things down a bit. into a half frog on the right side of your body. Bring that right leg up beside you. You can shift so you're on your mat. So stay on your belly. Bring your leg up to any degree. And if you want to add a little bit of a curl in that direction with your torso. Let go of your muscular effort. Rest your eyes. It's okay to rest.
following an out breath. And let's move to a side lying, stretching out your left arm, roll over onto that side, supporting your head. Bending your top knee, catch your ankle or wherever you can catch, and you use a strap here to extend your each side lying, half bow, whichever form of it feels nice in the moment. Move your shoulder and knee. Deeply once more, and then forced. Turn to your belly for the second side, half frog. Take your time, mindful shift. Maybe turning your head the other way as you curl towards that side, give it a little bit of a side stretch in the neck. Rest your toes. If you are of the restless mind, it might be helpful to know that this all helps your brain be more efficient later. Moving the blood, moving the lymph, breathing well, giving the mind some quiet time. One more breath here. Transition to the side lying half bow. Guide yourself to your side body balance. Keep it nice and light. One more cycle of breath. Turn to the front of your body. Let's come out on the forearms. So elbows under your shoulders, hands together or flat and forward. Tuck your toes. Exhale, a little tone in your tummy. Lift up your legs. Walk into dolphin. Balls at the feet, head down between the elbows. Press your forearms down. Lift your belly up. Maybe lift your toes a little bit. Exhale, lower your knees into wide child's pose. Release your feet and sit back. You can add to this a rotation. And your knees, your hips might need to come up a bit more to do the threading needle. So looking into a needle threading wide child's pose. So it's a wide child's twist. You can drape your top arm behind your waist if that feels safe. For slow breathing. Rebalancing, changing sides, take your time, resettle those knees as needed, hips can be high or low, up more towards the above the knees or back towards the heels, customize to your body please, so long neck centered on the skull above the ear. If you take your arm away, make sure that you feel secure. Two more slow breaths. Release the rotation. And transition to the back of your body. Actually, come to seated, please, or go back all the way. Stand up. Good 
Vishtha Kodasana, Upward Facing Angle Pose. Um, wide, straight legs, fingers back, easy lean back into the hands, toes up towards the ceiling, legs active. If it works in your body to explore forward folding, you may do so. If it's better for you to stay here with the arms back. So think about the standing pose, the forward tilt in the pelvis with the legs straight. You might find something similar here. As to standing, bringing your head out between your feet. Two. Mindful of your knees. Notice your knees here. Part of why you're here today. Working on those stabilizers. Notice the muscles working to keep your legs steady. Coming up with inhale energy from wherever you are. Now coming to the back of your body. Lie down. And come to um, feet on the ground, return to the bridge, bring your left foot up off the ground and towards the ceiling, leave your fingers behind your thigh or catch your toes, have you want to hold on to that leg and bring it towards you. The other leg can stretch out if you would like. Beginner's mind. Always supposed to be beginner's mind. Come back after a bit of a break. Beginner's mind. Release the other side. Thank you. This leg for what you do. Just the right amount. Other side. Sometimes chins get way high in these poses. Just make sure your neck is long. You can use a pillow. One more. Back to the first side for one leg happy baby. So we bring the leg out to the side and the knee towards the ground on the top side of the torso. You can hold on. Be creative as you like. Two. Other side, once, this, once that feels complete, guide your leg out, the other one in, widen, come downward, use your hands, both hands, support this pose. And five, from this one, let's come to a figure four. So go ahead and swing that ankle across the other knee and slowly lower your knee away. If you want, you can bring your legs in towards your chest or keep the foot on the ground. Letting your exhales lengthen. Receive the support, your back having a bit of rest here. Changing sides, figure four, second side. Lower bodies get to know these shapes with practice. And then we find right where we want to be with it today. And there's a nice flow of energy.
So we breathe one more time. And release your legs. Legs in the air, feet in the sky. What do you like to do with that invitation? So I just started with a little back body preparation, making sure I'm centered and aligned, grounded for whatever choice. Perhaps bring the feet close to the body. We were working on this before the break. Bring your feet in close and then see if you can lift them both off at the same time and up into the air. Big toes rest together, heels a little separate. Maybe you'd like to lift your hips, even a small amount, so we can begin shoulder span, sliding the hands underneath the back of your pelvis carefully, so your hips are off the ground a little bit. It's called Purna, either Purna or Purva Harma Kalasana, preparation. Causing no harm, no strain. Meet with your feet. See what that changes, that idea of reaching. Reach. And then begin the lowering and releasing process from where you have been flexing. Bend your knees at the same time. Keep them very close to your body, close to your seat. Use your arms. Try to bring your toes down. And if it's too much to do both, just start with one. And release. Windshield wipers. Let the hips go side to side. Thinking about a favorite rotation on your back, a favorite twist. You got the knees, just both head over to one side, roll your head the other way, stretch out your arms. Long exhales. And then breath round into your belly center before you move. So that supports this movement of the spine, the low back and the hips, a strong center. Roll your head, rest your arms. Check in with your breath for a moment. Is it going on autopilot with the lips sealed? It's okay. We're teaching our, our body to breathe this way. To carry that on. Sometimes we have to remind it, but just gently notice. I'm going to bring it back to center. Rocking up. Bring yourself up to your meditation seat. A little pranayama. It's telling you cold. And I do this one where you tuck your toes inside the space of your legs in the luxury of air conditioning. Find your own cross seat or folded legs. Let's see. Now we shall now balancing breath, nerve, shiny, easy. Breathe in, central channel. Breathe out. Twice more. That central channel runs along the spine. Only support that breath energy flow. You can use your brain or add your hand. Vishnu's mudra, touching the space between the eyebrows lightly with the dominant hand with your first two fingers. Then fold your pinky and ring finger against the left side of your nose, or whichever side you're on the spine. Really do your own body. But start on the right side with your breath. Inhale, right side. Light touch. Exhale, left side. Inhale, left. 
that's not right. Feel free to go at your own pace, not forcing, but stretching this out a bit. One more, stretch it out, go slowly, inhale. Exhale left. Now inhale left side. Exhale, right side. Right inhale. When that's complete, three breaths of motion. Perhaps gathering the thumbs together with the first two fingers. Throw all the fingers to the thumbs. And then we'll have to open your hands. Into the back of your body for rest. If you like, Flow through one more time, or just lie down and begin arranging for rest. So if you'd like to, go back to your plank. Flip your feet, come to an upward dog. Flip your feet again to a downward dog. Good for restless minds to do that one more time. All right, come through, lie down. Give yourself support, cushioning, more eye cover. What do you need? But since this is conscious rest, we might not need as much as we might need at night or sleep. But do make sure that you're not disturbed by discomfort. If it helps you to have a blanket or something to stay present, do that. Scan your body for a moment so that it settles away from the middle of the body. If the shoulders and arms are heavy, the legs roll open to the sides. Release your deep breathing, perhaps an exhale out of your mouth. Here. Notice what it feels like. Can your heart center be buoyant? Sense connection with all life, feeling the sun's energy around you. Release any holding in the body.
releasing from your stillness, a new beginning. Perhaps you weave your fingers together and spin your palms up towards the sky and then slip them behind your skull to bring a little energy back. And that position can be used for any transition or when a little energy is welcomed. So let your inhales stretch a little bit. Release your throat, with some swallowing. Blink your eyes a few times. Wiggle and stretch, make your way back to your seated position. A moment for gratitude meditation. Just put that word in your heart. It helps everything makes more sense. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Grateful to be back here teaching with you. Thank you for joining me.